Let's look at subtracting fractions. We have 12 eighths minus 5 eighths. Now, the denominators, the bottom numbers, are exactly the same. So we can go straight into subtracting the top numbers. So 12 minus 5 is 7 and the denominator always stays the same unless we're simplifying. So that's that. Very easy and straightforward. Now what if we have fractions where the denominators are not the same? like 3 eighths minus 1 quarter. The first thing we need to do is make the denominators the same. So if we multiply the 4 by 2 it will become 8. So we can just change one side by multiplying this side by 2 and if we multiply the bottom of the fraction by 2 we need to do the same for the top. So let's just write that again, it becomes 3 eighths minus 1 times 2, which is 2, 4 times 2, which is 8. 3 eighths minus 2 eighths. Now, we never take away from the bottom number, the denominator. We only do the subtraction on the top numbers, the numerators. So 3 minus 2 is 1 and the denominator stays the same, so it's a 1 8th. Let's take another example. So, 2 thirds minus 2 tenths. Again, we can see that the denominators are not the same, but they're not multiples of each other, so they're in two completely different times tables. The easiest way to tackle this is just to say we will multiply each side by its opposite. So we will multiply the 3 by 10 and if we do that to the bottom we need to do it to the top so we multiply the 2 by 10 also. Now if we multiply this side by 3 you'll see that 10 times 3 is 30, 10 times 3 is 30, so we're going to get the same denominator which is what we really want to do. And whatever we do to the bottom we need to do to the top as well. So this becomes 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, minus 2 times 3 is 6, 10 times 3 is 30. 20 minus 6 is 14 and remember that we do not subtract the denominator, we just write it again. So that becomes 30. Now if we look carefully at this fraction we can see that it could be simplified. It could be simplified they can both be divided by 2. So we should do that. Always reduce or simplify the fraction to its simplest form. In other words, divide it until it cannot go down anymore. So 14 divided by 2 is what we'll divide it by is 7. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And these two prime numbers cannot be simplified anymore, so the answer is 7 fifteenths. Let's look at mixed fractions. So, we have 1 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 2 tenths. With fractions, we need to change both sides into improper fractions. 
in other words get rid of the whole numbers before we can do anything so we do this by times in 1 by 3 which is 3 and then we add the 2 so 3 add 2 is 5 and the denominator stays the same so the 3 now on this side it's the same 1 times 10 is 10 plus 2 is 12 so 12 tenths now how do we get these to have the same denominator we're going to multiply each side by its opposite so we we'll multiply this side by 10 and we'll multiply this side by 3 and that is going to give us 50 minus 36 thirtieths. 50 minus 36, 50 minus 36 is 14 and we do not subtract the denominators, the bottom numbers. So we now have a, a situation where we could simplify and we always should simplify the fraction. So let's divide by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So the answer then is 7 fifteenths. And we stay with this. We leave it here because these are both prime numbers, they cannot be reduced any further, they cannot be simplified any further.